today we've got a really exciting day. We're working with Accenture and they run an amazing program called Kidovation, which looks at design, looks at technology, looks at innovation. We're running Kidovation for 60 children and what we're doing is we're taking them through the principles of design thinking and asking them to solve the problem of how do we save our oceans. Nice. Like recycling. We want to give back and we want to help the kids understand some of the things that we do in our day to day. A hackathon is an event where people come together with different skills and interests and they're given a problem and in a day they come up with a solution. This is a, just a different way to add value to what the school's already doing and about connecting business and education. So we want to inspire them through critical thinking and problem solving and get them to kind of understand all of the jobs that we're doing in our regular day to day lives. So we We've been doing different prototypes to help the world about plastic waste in the sea and climate change and pollution. Uh, the challenge is you to not use plastic for a month, then you get like, the habit of it. That's awesome. All we've got to do now is sketch that down. It's really about inspiring children to understand that they actually, within their own brains, have the ability to solve real world problems. And without them, unfortunately, our planet's not in safe hands. Yeah. You keep trying to take it out, but it keeps coming back. Oh yeah, you take out your rubbish and then it keeps coming yeah. back in. I think you need to write that down because that's a good idea. It's a fantastic way for them to gain some early experience in their life, to work as a team, to brainstorm some great ideas about the global issues that we're facing nowadays. So it actually goes in and picks up the, picks up the plastic name? from the ocean. Alright, so Fiona's got a great idea with the recycling bins and you've got a great idea about educating people. Some of them have learned that yes, whilst they can have these crazy ideas, they've actually got to be able to get that idea then to work back to something that's workable something that's usable, something that's relevant to society. And so some of them have learned that ideas have to be adapted continually. Because loads of, like one part could be plastic like the stomach, cause, and then one part could be like cardboard or whatever. Yeah. Nice. Our idea is to use grass instead of plastic. So we're gonna harvest grass, because there's so much of it, then use that, then make into a mold, so we're gonna solidify it. Then you can use that for alternative of plastic. They've been able to bring their own strength to it and yeah they're all engaging with each other beautifully. All in a software for, for you. So you use this language you since. I liked the coding because I got to try something new and like I did coding before but like I wasn't really good at it. Let's try <laughs> Today has given me confidence to talk about my ideas with my friends. Usually I'm very shy but um, today I've been very open. I think the best part was probably seeing the presentations at the end because you get to see everybody coming together and it was really nice to have them have their awards at the end of the day and see all their faces. They're really, really proud of the solutions that they've come up with. And yeah, they might be like alien technologies or things that haven't been thought about yet, but we've told them not to constrain themselves by that, to really kind of think outside the box because we don't know what's going to be happening in 10 or 20 years' time, and this could be the technology of the future that saves us. Just introducing kids at this age to design thinking and uh, being able to understand ideas, how to challenge them, how to build them, and how to have fun with them. I, I, it's brilliant. It's, the vibe is wonderful.